Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM 2. I probably what? wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was uh, something of a miracle worker. Getting the Avengers power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave everything he had to get the ship running. But he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. Thanks for interrupting my intro to have that little heartfelt moment. I need supplies and lots of them. Also, the UFO is right above me, so I'm not entirely sure I can actually move without it attacking me right now. Um, do I want to hold off here for a little bit until it goes away? I need to go to the black market. Let's let's stay here for a second. Oh, it's found South me. African no, I wanted to stay there. What's going on? Okay, just chill for a second. All right, the UFO. That UFO me. contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Okay. Setting course for the West African sector. So is this the negative? It forces you to move around to avoid it and waste time, I guess. Yeah, that seems to be what it is. We're in the clear, Commander. No further sign of the pursuing UFO. All right, black market, please. Avenger plotting new course. Because I'm getting 50% less supplies at the end of the month, aren't I? I've got to have some stuff I don't need. I don't need 14 land corpses, I assume. I'll go down to 10. I'm going to sell, like, some of them. That gives me only 48. Ah, I have so much. I don't actually have a lot of stuff at all, do I? I need the Advent Trooper corpses to make armor. That's going to have to do. So, now I have... 80 supplies. That's enough for at least one of the upgrades, I think. So we go over here, we go to... No, we went into Guerrilla Tactics School. I will learn where to go for what layer. So I could... I can get both the ones I want, but I can't get... Well, I can get one of the two I want. We're going for the full squad, because I have to. But my next choice will be that permanent upgrade to everybody. From getting a specialist to a certain rank. So now we still need intel. So we're going to go to that Avenger, ominous glow thing and see what this course. is going to give us. <clears throat> Minor breakthrough. So it's back up to five. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I know. We're going to do this, and then we're going to make contact with India, maybe, just so we have something covered over this side of the map. Or maybe Europe. Maybe it's time I went to Europe. I don't know. Either way, I want to know what this ominous glow does. A new room is now available for construction at a facility. Power coils are powerful spaces for facility construction. Facilities built on shielded power coils draw no power from the Avenger. Power relays built on shielded power coils generate considerably more. I wish I'd known that in advance. So if I build an, a miscellaneous room here, it costs nothing. But if I'd built a power relay, it would have had me covered for probably the rest of the game. I, I, honestly, I wish it had told me in advance, but whatever. So we'll probably put the Shadow Chamber there, or the Scilab, whichever I can afford eventually. So for now, we have nothing to do there, so let's have this sped up, I guess. Nope, we already have that going. Let's speed up the Exosuit, I guess, even though I'm not going to have the money to buy it. So we'll have that sped up. Um, I could do put one in there to increase that as well, I guess. Puts my power up again, and we can do this to give us more resistance comms. So that means I can visit three more places. Europe, maybe branch into Russia up there. But first, just give me the ominous glow, rather. A number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Advent has legions Ooh. of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. Blue as screen protocol. They're fully automated and armed to the teeth. So that's how you get a better hacking stat. You need Gremlin MK2. Blue screen protocol. Developing munitions capable of disabling them should be one of our high priorities. Just be looking to disrupting their core operating system, and I agree it's a good place to start. 
Magnetic weapons, nine days. We talk. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Gross. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. That's a good one to do. It only needs an Illyrium core. Where is the, the MK2 Commander? Gremlins? Do I need to buy them? Oh, I totally do. 50 supplies each. Son of a bitch. I thought it would be like a, an upgrade you buy, yes, but one for like your all your specialists. Apparently not. One exosuit. Oh, you get one for free for doing it. Nice. Experimental heavy weapons. Although our heavy armor suits are already a formidable protection enhancement for our troops, with some additional reinforcements and a few mounting points, it's possible we could equip them with even more uh, with even more advanced wrist mounted weapon capability. That's that's a long sense. So we got an exosuit for free. Let me just see. There's no proving ground project now, so we can build ourselves another exosuit. We can build ourselves a spider suit. I use these Advent Lancer corpses. We can build ourselves one of these, or we can build an experimental heavy weapon. Six days, four days, four days. Let's build a spider suit just to see what it's like. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Don't be around the bush, Shen. I know you just insulted me. Please, please let me finish this to see what it does. Please, pretty please. Strategic resource located. 52 intel. Fantastic. Okay. I think it's time to make contact with somewhere else in the world so I can see more of their dark events and what have you to try and stop them. Let's make contact with the intel we just got. It's going to use 60 of our 71. It will increase our monthly supplies. Make contact with Setting Western Europe. For the Western European Ward. Western European ward? I want to save Scotland. That's that's my Attempting real goal here. Commander, we have the position of a vulnerable Ooh. UFO that's set down in this region. If we move fast, there's a chance we could recover a nice haul of supplies and equipment. That sounds too good to pass up, I have to. It's the UFO Operation Bone Shield. Setting course for Brazil. We'll be back, Europe. We'll be back. Also, I believe the spider suit finished, but I don't know if this is counting now, because we went straight here, so I might not have it yet. So, oh hey, I'm back. Nice. The Dragonacus has my, my daily, the equivalent of a scope. We'll give CR a rest for this mission, and I want to try out the exosuit, assuming it lets me, I believe it's for heavies. No, not there. Exosuit. Uh, as a heavy class armor system, the exosuit allows a soldier to mount a heavy weapon. Only a rocket launcher is available initially. Additional heavy weapons are made in the Proving Ground. Got it. So it gives you plus 5 HP and plus 1 armor, so that would be a total of 2 armor. This turns me into the tank I wish I was, so yeah. Oh, it's sweet looking too. The EXO armor suit gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons, with the durability to match. I like that. Yeah, I need lots of them. And that gives you a rocket launcher, which is the only option because I need to upgrade. So now you've got a grenade launcher with two grenades, a rocket launcher as well. Bloody hell. But that means I could trade out a grenade, maybe give you a smoke grenade. You're not a support though. I know supports don't exist, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you can just take your exosuit. So did the... Who would want a... Let's try it on you. Did the spider suit finish? It did, but it's not because it gave me that pop-up event, so that's annoying. But this could give us a crap ton of... Uh, supplies, which is what I want. So who will we take instead of CR? We could bring... Thaxar. 
We could also bring a rookie, which is dangerous, but, you know. Yeah, let's bring a rookie. Let's find out what class you are by... Well, if I held off giving you a class, actually, I could force you to be a psychic class once I unlock those. Yeah, that's probably for the best, because I do want to try a psychic class eventually. So we'll bring Thaxar. That means we have three specialists. This is going to be weird. So you've got the med kit. You've got the grenade. I want somebody to have the mimic beacon. Thaxar's going to be doing... Yeah, let's give it to Lenore. Because that mimic beacon was working out well for me. Screw the smoke grenade for now. Yeah, this is what we're going to take on the UFO with. Um, will I bring Dragon Ankus this time, or will I bring the other sniper to try out that ability I bought for? Oh, the other sniper's here. What am I talking about? I have to bring two snipers unless I want to bring a rookie. Oh, no, actually, I could bring two heavies. But on this mission, I'm going to have to try and resist exploding things, I imagine, because otherwise I'll get reduced supplies. We'll bring two snipers. It's not the ideal situation, but yeah. Two snipers, three specialists, and then one whatever the heavy class is called. <laughs> But, the one heavy that's coming is basically, you know, a mech at this point. But yeah, I'll need to build another exosuit so CR has one as well. In position for deployment. Operation Bone Shield. That's a good name. It took some work, but apparently the Resistance managed to disable a UFO that's set down in this area. Unfortunately for them, alien reinforcements moved in before they had a chance to pull anything off the ship. We're heading in to take whatever we can. Secure the site and eliminate all hostile contacts. Got it. Hopefully this will go well. Menace one five UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to Ooh, secure the fancy area. Now. Neutralize all hostiles. Squad concealment active. So is Nick on this mission? No, Nick's still wounded. So we we are not going to get the. Uh he still stays concealed if anybody else gets caught thing. I don't like the idea of moving with Yuki first, but I don't want my snipers to leave this height advantage if we do see an enemy straight away. I forget, we've got concealment though, so enemies don't know we're here. So it's you can actually move a lot safer on a mission where that is a thing. We are just going to head straight for the UFO. Um, we'll have Thaxar hide there, maybe I'll see something over there. Didn't see anything at all. Hmm. Nova. It's a good nickname for me. And I have two armor, so all damage I take is reduced by two. Plus I have the blast padding thing, which means I take even less from explosives. That is a damn fine yeah, set of upgrades. So this is my sniper who wants to get up close because they're a pistol fire machine, so we'll move her. And Dragonakis can just kind of stay there, I think. Affirmative covering now. Hopefully we'll hear some well we hear someone over in that direction, I believe. Ruling. Hopefully there's no one up there. I think that's the edge of the stage though. I'll, I'll check in a second. Actually, no, there's quite a lot of give, so there could very well be a squad up there. That would screw me over. I think we would have heard them by now, though. Solid copy. No hace falta repetirlo. Right, we're, we can't leave Dragon X up there, sadly. He's going to have to come with us. Um, Time to motor. Full cover tree, I guess. Overwatch. Got it. Moving. There's the UFO right there. Quiet. Did you hear something? I heard something, but I don't know what noise that is. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. A mech? What is that? Who? Who? Or what is that? Is that like the alien equivalent of an exosuit? Or maybe they've got a jetpack or something? He's got two pips of armor, so maybe it's just like a, a higher armor guy. Alright, this is the turn where I think we're going to initiate then. So you can already see him, but I want to move people up. I don't need full cover as much as other people. Let's move there and see what kind of shots I have. I can see all three now, so yeah. They're so 
clump together that I can't not open up this exchange with a rocket. I, I have to. But we can get everybody else in position because the rocket's not going to one shot them all, I would imagine. Do you have shots where you are? Nope. Well, in that case, you won't be firing your pistol then. That's counting as being flanked, so I can't move you there because I believe that breaks concealment. Uh, there will do it. Moving. Well, hello, dog. You're up here to mooch for certain things that aren't due for 20 minutes. That's not surprising in the least. Okay, so everyone apart from my character on Overwatch, we open with the rocket and then we have fun. Oh, right, Dragon Agus. You can actually see thanks to Squad Sight, so by all means. Scanning. On Overwatch. So, rocket launcher. Does 4 to 7 damage. Uh, actually, it turns out it's got pretty bad range. I was not expecting it to be quite so bad. Okay, that's not going to be what we do then. It's going to be a frag grenade, sadly. It hits all three of them though, so it's still worth doing. Surprise, surprise, aliens! And it shreds one armor from the two armor targets too. We might get a little bit of speech about what this guy in white is. Maybe it's just an advanced version of the commander? Ah. Beautiful. Nice. Is that all the overwatches? The mech died and the other two are on 2 HP, so that's pretty damn good. Uh, actually, 2 HP, let's just get a guaranteed kill here. You're the only one he can see, so yeah, absolutely kill him. Go just attach your electrodes to his brain and fry him. That was gorier than I was expecting. There was a lot of blood there. Oh wait, so Thaxar didn't get triggered there at all. I must have forgot to put him on Overwatch, I guess. And he's running! <laughs> Mr. Heavy Armor is running for his life. He smashed through a window. Oh, the stress signal. That's why he ran. That son of a bitch. Let's assume... Let's assume that he went on Overwatch. So I want to try and trigger it with someone who can take an overwatch and not worry too much. I guess he didn't. We've got six turns. Six turns to get over there is very doable as long as I move up a little bit each turn. Not a problem. There obviously will be more end. Oh, you can actually see him. There he is. Advent shield bearer is what they're called. I mean, you might as well take a shot. All right. <laughs> Scared the shit out of him if nothing else. So, Lenori, let's move you there then. Desde luego. You can't see him. Can you combat pro call him? Oh, you can! It's not going to kill him, but sure, get the guaranteed damage. And you can still take the shot after, which I always keep forgetting that you can do. Oh, wait, no. I moved you this time, so no, you can't. <laughs> Fry that shield bearer's brain. So, I see that armor piercing means it's going to be more important as things go on. Dragonacus has a shot from this distance. It is like one of the worst shot percentages I've ever seen. He's still going to take it though. And he took out a bit of the UFO. That's expensive! Miss the target. Oh, we still have you. But you can't do lightning hands from here apparently. Hmm. Move up and then hopefully have the, the free shot and then the pistol shot. Damn it. Alright, just pistol overwatch then. Um, I could punt a grenade at him if I was that desperate to kill him this turn, but overwatch. I'll overwatch. Oh, hang on. Can Daxar get him from here? Oh, never mind. He's dead then. There we go. I'm wasting... Well, I'm not wasting. I'm using all my combat protocols like in the first encounter, but I'm using them effectively, so why the hell not? Brain fried. Nice. You should have an extra chance of getting loot if you kill them via that, because it's just like blowing up their head. I know that's not how it works. Alright, we have five turns. We didn't hear anything. Let's. I know I don't want to... I shouldn't be leading with my healer, but it's into full cover, so I felt relatively safe. I should be the one leading the charge, because of my super heavy armor. Well, if I have to... Is that a door? That's not a door, so we have to enter from there. 
So therefore I'll run to there. Might see another unit. We didn't. Okay, I'll go. The Dragon Axe is definitely going to need to catch up now though, because our next encounter is going to happen within the UFO for sure. Which means that he is the the less useful sniper once it becomes a close quarters battle. That's the, the other advantage of taking a pistol focused one. I should have brought another rookie, or a rookie rather, instead of Dragon Akis. Because we're going inside a UFO. That's okay. He also needs to reload, but he's going to run up this turn. Running. Come get some! Come get some! Maya, that wasn't me telling you to bark. I was, I was mocking the the in-game fight. Never mind, she's gone. So if I move up to here next time, and then I breach the turn after. Let's do a one move sure, first bye. to make sure there's no one over here. All right. Oh, there's actually a door there as well. Hmm. Right, let's. Mm, I don't like that. That's not full cover. Yeah, let's not move with her because she has the Mimic Beacon, which can buy someone a turn if they get into a spot bother. So let's move Ty here. Already there. See if she sees anyone. She did, which is... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a very scary combination. Alright. A dangerous mix indeed. Yuki's going to do aid protocol on Taya. There we are. Now, my character still has an action, but he's not going to be able to shoot around the corner, so there's not much he can do besides just go on Overwatch and hope that like one of them runs out. We are going to toss a Mimic Beacon into cover, if possible. Well, hang on, if I move up first... You're in full cover here, though. That's fine. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll move here, and then we're going to mimic beacon, and we're going to put it there. That will lure at least one of their attacks. Hopefully all of them. Our Dragon X, you need to get in position to fire next turn. We'll move, move you there. Move, move. Yeah, definitely. We need to get a move on here. This is this just got risky. Two Vipers and a Muton is nothing to scoff at. Affirmative. Covering now. Thanks, are You could also do aid protocol, actually, on me, but I think I'd rather have a second overwatch. What's over there? You don't want to know what's over there. Scanning. He has his 1 in 10 chance to insta-kill on a hit. So the Muton's charging in. He's going to trigger both overwatches. Eh, yeah, that's off. Oh! That uh, was off. Mine might be on, because it's really close. Well, on the plus side, he's going after the hologram, clearly. Not even close. Oh, they've got a melee attack now. Oh, of course, he had the chainsaw on his gun, yeah. It did 8 damage. That would have insta-killed Taya. And this Viper's wasting his turn, but it will kill... Yeah, it killed the Mimic, mimic rather, so this last Viper will attack Taya somehow. She's got good defense, half cover plus 20% bonus, or 20 bonus. Missed with a tongue attack that went through literally two walls. Oh, it's a grab! Ew. Taya did not want to get tongued by you, thank you. And now you're just pointing at nothing because the mimic is gone, but whatever. So I need to do a lot of damage this turn. Luckily, Taya gets to shoot three or four times. So, if pistol is the first thing she does, it's a free action. There's a, something I can explode. Oh, I don't want to do that though because it's supplies. Yeah, so firing the pistol as my first action does not use up our uh, action. Good damage as well. I should still have two pips of action. Yes, I do. So then... Nope, that did actually use up an action. What? Did I not get that skill with her? Where does it say there's skills? It's this one, right? Firing your pistol with your first action no longer ends your turn. Firing your pistol with your first action no longer ends your turn. If you fired your pistol with your first action, normally it wouldn't end your turn, would it? 
Oh, either way. She still has the free shot with lightning hand, so we'll do that as well. She's got two criticals in a row. I'm going to go for three. Deflection. Three crits in a row! That's it. Amazing. Okay, so our only point of entry is right here. And that is full cover. So, you do not have a grenade. You do not have a grenade. Thaxar has a grenade though, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking Thaxar walks up a little bit, like here -ish, throws that, destroys the cover here, trying not to destroy the supplies, the things hiding next to... I hope it's worth it. I'm not going to be able to kill both these this turn. I think that's goes without saying. Is that actually counting as hitting the Viper? There it is, and it's not hitting any of the supplies. Grenade Perfect. out! Why is it still saying you have full cover? Oh, apparently that wall's immune. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, there might also still be other aliens in here, which is worrying. Is that wall counting as being on fire? Not a problem. Menace one I know. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Beacon. Move in and disable it before the aliens get a bead on the UFO. <laughs> Just gotta deal with the little problem first. Nice. Did Ugh. I didn't like that sloppy noise it was making. So let's move there. I believe the Viper has to move out because oh wait no, he he shot through the wall before. I don't want to shoot the barrel. We'll just do an overwatch there. Let's see. Do a pistol Overwatch, overwatch with Dragnakis. Moving to Overwatch. Not a problem. Unfortunately, aid protocols on cooldown. I just noticed after doing that move, so we'll just have to do an Overwatch. Please come out of there. Out that door. Oh. So the walls just need to turn to get destroyed, apparently. I, g I guess it went on Overwatch. I need one more turn to get to it, but I will get to it. Alright, let's trigger an Overwatch. I can take it. Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, it's even worse. It's a Codex. There's four of them! That's scary. Where's the one I wounded? I guess he's in here, then. Lightning Hands has got three turns. I guess that'll be okay. It's not okay, it's not okay at all. So now you're flanking that guy. Where the hell is the Viper that ran off? Or did he die to, like, the wall falling on him or something? 87% chance, or do I just go for the guaranteed frag? Apparently he's in full cover right now, which is also... I'm calling shenanigans. I don't want to destroy that thing there. I don't think that's cut, uh, hitting it. Yeah, we'll do the guaranteed with the frag. Whatever is apparently his full cover isn't counting, uh, isn't destroyed. That's not counting his cover anymore, is it? So I'm going to do two damage. It's not going to kill him. Ah! Well, we can do combat protocol on the Viper then and just take a pot shot at the sword guy. I hope there's an upgrade for combat protocol that adds stun or something. That'd be handy. I'm going to have to kill the Codex last because she can make copies of herself every time she's shot. So I need to make sure that whatever initially hits her is a big hit. Uh, you'd already moved, I guess, so I don't get your other action. Whoops. You can't see anybody from there, that's really bad. I hope it's worth it. So do I. See, this is why I can't trust you, Dragonicus. That is not good! 
see, it's, it's making the most sense at this point that I use my turn to actually run away because there's too many enemies and I can't kill them. But if I do that, I can't press the thing to stop the distress beacon and we presumably fail the mission if that happens. I also don't think I can get Thaxar in a position where he can see anybody this turn. Is it clear? You could do aid protocol on me then. That's at least a little bit of help. It's better than nothing, I suppose. So I only have my turn and I have my healer, who I don't want to throw into much danger, really. She has aid protocol as well. I guess to aid protocol on Taya. Now becomes the hardest part of the turn, my decision about what I do with my character. He's in full cover. No way, he's in half cover from the direction that matters actually. He has his rocket, which could attach two of them, but it won't kill them. You could also just 76. No, I need to guarantee kill at least one of these enemies because otherwise we're going to have a bad time. That guarantee kill him. That's the only move I can make because I can't Throwing move grenade. back because I need to hit this bloody thing next turn. Okay. Two pips of armor plus, plus 20 defense. Hopefully that's acceptable to make me survive this turn because they'll all shoot at him. Oh. I need a med or not. Here. That bypassed armor as well, I just noticed. Who's that one? Oh, he's just disabled everybody's gun for this turn, you son of a bitch. That's awful. Oh, on the plus side, at least he tried to attack the person I buffed. But I can't leave everybody there to reload and fire this turn because then they get exploded next turn. come back. I don't think I can win this weapon, uh, mission now because I got grabbed. I think it's literally impossible. Unless I deliberately let somebody get caught by this attack in the hopes that they can fire. Does anybody still have a grenade, actually? Nope. Nobody has a grenade. Does anybody have the first reload is free? Oh wait, the pistols have unlimited ammo. Alright, hang on. We need to be very careful about how we do this. You don't have lightning reflexes back, but you can fire your pistol. I assume upon getting any damage, he lets go. That's going to disintegrate next turn. I need to make sure he is visible, so I just have to move you in the open, I'm afraid. What's over there? That's not a flank. Does that mean you still let go? Because you got damaged? You don't let go? So it's not like Seekers then, son of a bitch. Who do you actually see? I wish I knew who you could see. Oh, I can check. You can see him. Yuki can see him. I don't know how much damage this does when it explodes. See him. Does anybody else see him? Dragonakis should, right? Yeah. Dragonakis and Yuki are going to have to take the hit because they have to free me, otherwise... Oh, actually, no, you have a pistol as well. 88% chance, but it won't do enough damage to kill. That said, it still saves you from damage, though. Do you see him? No. So if I was to move Dragonakis to... Again, it has to be in the open, sadly. What's over there? Nothing good. It's now a 100% chance. Please do your full damage. It did, but that's still not... Oh, it is! He let go! He let go! Also, I just got steamed. Let me just quickly go offline because I need to... Where did I go offline on this? I don't even remember. Ah, screw it. Hopefully it just be quiet. I need to think. I get to move my full turn, right? I do. Fantastic. I need to move here. On the way! 
the power supply on this ship is likely to be a newer variation of the Illyrian core driving the Avengers systems. I need to hack this, which I believe uses an action. It also ends your turn, actually, yeah. I have to. I'll see what I can do. Uh, let's see. Income from the current five reasons. Uh, sure. I'm in. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Good. Yuki is still going to try and kill the uh, Viper. We're green to go. So she is going to take damage next turn, guaranteed. Now, you are not going to take guaranteed damage. I want to kind of use you as a honeypot for this prick. Yeah, that thing you said, all right. And we want Thaxar to kind of just move and like there and really What's just. What's over there? Locked and loaded. It does five fucking damage. Codexes are broken as hell. Shooting a dragon Akis in the back. I might need some help. Did four damage. So now the sword prick's got his choice of who to kill. Hopefully just knock them out rather than actually insta-kill them. He opted to go for somebody else. The AI stupidity has been the only thing that stopped me losing somebody this turn. Unless that wall collapsing did damage. Nope. So, Yuki can hear, heal two people in a turn. She is going to heal herself and Dragonacus. The Codex is the last thing I have to fight still. I have to take out the sword guy. Dragonacus Zeus. You're lucky. Where'd the sword print go? There he is. Oh, I don't have... Alright, reload. Um, 91. Oh, that's the only person you can see. Oh, it's with the pistol. Well, either way, damage is damage. I wasn't sure why uh, lightning... Whatever, the, the free shot wasn't back. Quick draw. My draw. Exactly what you deserved. So I need to make sure the initial hit that hits Codex is a good one, so that his clones or her clones have less HP. Just dive Dragonax into full cover. So I could open up with a rocket as well. Wait, I can left click something here? No, I've already done this. We need to finish this mission soon, my dog's getting impatient. I could run out there and just shoot her in the face. Well, actually, there's cover right there I can reach. Yeah, sure. That's sure a good flight. a good opening, I think. I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at their flight computer. Ours could probably use some updates. Oh shit, he's gonna shoot me! I was expecting better than four, to be honest. Oh! Well, that might be a blessing that he teleported all the way out there. 34% not good enough. It's the fact that she's in full cover. I hope it's worth it. Unfortunate. It was a coin flip, straight up. So I can kill that one. The other one, oh, the other one has the same HP actually. Are you shooting through the wall? Oh, you're shooting a Yuki. I don't feel so good. Yeah, you're going to be gravely wounded, assuming you survive. Well, yeah, you are now because she's opting to shoot at the wrong person and missed. Screw you. Not going to be able to use explosives on her over there though because I don't want to destroy the flight computer. So Yuki will heal herself. 
No, you heal yourself again. Give him a heal. Uh, I guess take a pot shot at her. Hey, nice. Got your revenge. All right, let's finish this. Can Dragon Act see from where he is? No. Oh, you have lightning hands back. Well, free action. Why not? You actually hit it. Well done. So then I, yeah, if I understand this correctly, I can fire the pistol then. Normally that would end your action because you're firing a weapon, but... What's going on? Oh, don't glitch out on me. Okay. What? Did I not get to fire my shot? Okay. All right. I got it, right? Yeah, I think you did. It's weirding the hell out, but there's still a clone over there now. Who will be the last enemy with one HP? So if, even if that missed, it would have done one damage thanks to our upgrade. So that was dead either way. Christ, that was tough. Four wounded. I get the feeling that CR will be borrowing my exosuit for a while. Eighty percent shot percentage. Success. Most under fire mimic beacon. <laughs> my average covered bonus was uh, terrible for that one. So that was my first UFO, landed UFO mission of XCOM 2, and it was, again, because it throws a time limit at you, it forces you to be putting yourself in situations like we saw there that just get terrifying real quick. I am lucky, it was only through AI stupidity at a moment of critical importance that I didn't lose anybody there. I was saved by AI stupidity. And I don't like that. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. Wounded! Hurry! I only got wounded. I might be back sooner than I thought. So, you've been kind of going all over the place. Do I want an extra grenade or do I want hollow targeting? I'm going to take... Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to be very explosive related, especially if I'm wearing this exosuit. No one else got a promotion. That's a bit disappointing. Got another one of those brains, we got a mech wreck, muton corpse, viper, alien alloys, illyrium, 169 supplies, yes. So we do the shield bearer autopsy. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. We don't have enough people to actually field a squad. Oh, well, only because I have the full squad now, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, that's why. I would have to bring two rookies as well. And, oh god, the nearest time someone's back is seven days that is terrible yeah let's recruit a couple of people let's recruit yeah I don't like your hair you look like a thin man you see what I mean if he was a bit paler this hang on yeah him he looks like a thin man uh, I'm gonna be slightly sexist and hire guys I like your glasses and your semi much spokesman took a big risk getting inside advent enough for me to believe he's loyal to our cause there may still be a few One skeptics do in now. the movement, but we've got bigger things to worry about than a man on a screen. I think we want under pressure. Gain plus 10 aim and the ability to critically hit when taking overwatch shots. Does, that, does it only apply to specialists or is it army wide? Actually, no, before I do that, let me check if I can do the uh, build an armor upgrade. Not here. What can I do for you, Commander? Yeah. Still short on corpses. Alright, that's made my mind up. Well, well, I could get a... I think I can still get a Gremlin Mark II and do the project, can I? I always forget where the Gorilla Warfare... I muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. So either specialists now have a badass plus 10 permanent aim or everybody does. I guess we can check that by going to people, but first of all, we're hey, very quickly going to build a gremlin mark 2. And we will give that to whoever the next specialist is I take on a mission. Yeah, that's that's going to do it. So actually we can yeah, we can check whether or not everybody now has just a standard plus 10 aim. Like go to one of the rookies who doesn't have any equipment. You're not a specialist. Let's go to a specialist. It doesn't say you have it either. 
When does it apply? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't have got that skill. I'm not sure I understand how it worked. Anyway, that was 10 to sell. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.